behold. <clears throat> right, I suppose I should explain myself really. Uh, it's Martin here. Hope you're all doing all right. Um, yeah, so yesterday, I picked up this load of uh, all pretty much classical records off of a uh, Facebook Marketplace. Had a few times I've been to Facebook Marketplace and um, I haven't got there first, but in this particular instance I got over 600 albums, some opera, some 78s here at the back as well, here, all for 20 quid, which um, was quite remarkable really, I mean, just take a look at some of the 10 inches first. So yes, yeah, so it was pretty local to me and um, I couldn't resist it really, you know. Um, so if you're not into classical music, um, I would probably say that this video is not for you. How long I'm going to go on for, I do not know. So these are all being kept in my mum's um, um, garage, actually. I didn't have anywhere else to put them. Um, I have now, of course, got a, uh, a portable player, so I can play 78s, finally. Uh, you know, some of these have beautiful covers. Um, Although well, probably their actual value is, uh, look at that, that's a lovely cover. Probably their value is very uh, minimal, I would have thought. I don't, I don't know, really. Um, yeah. This one's by a national opera in Belgrade, so I guess that would have been before... Um, well, when it was Yugoslavia, before it all split up. Well, obviously it would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah. Some Mozart Requiem on two discs. Yeah. Don't even know this one, but I'm going to listen to some of these. I mean, they're really, something like this is really interesting because I'm actually um, half Spanish as it goes anyway. Although I cannot really um, speak the lingo. Very basic. Um, what have we got here? Yeah, I'm hoping that um, you will write in the comments if you see anything that is like worth mega bucks. I know that a majority of them. Well, I was talking to Alan, Static Traveller, and um, yeah, I guess a majority of stuff. He's, he named a couple of labels that, um, you know, can just um, get rid of, to be honest. But, um, you know, I suppose it's about music and... Um, some singles here as well, actually. Uh, Fala, I think. Yeah. Oh, there were some nice ones here. There was a 500 words in Spanish, so I can learn Spanish. And there was a Russian one as well, I think, actually. Uh, who owned these records? I've no idea. Or if they were like, well, what, it was a, it's actually a lady that sells. Shame that this one's ripped. It's actually a lady that sells um, on um, on the local market. She obviously didn't fancy going through all this stuff. There was another beautiful Sibelius one. Oh, this was interesting. There's an HMV bag there with where all the shops are. Ballam, Birmingham, Brighton, Bromley. Corby, Cranbourne Street in London, Dean Street, Enfield, Epsom, Gravesend, Holloway, Ilford, Kingston upon Thames, Leeds, Manchester, Newcastle, Notting Hill, Portsmouth, Putney, Slayer, Sutton, Walthamstow, Wolverhampton and Wood Green. A pink nipper there, so to speak. So, um, I mean, I haven't really been through them that much. I do remember this one looked particularly interesting. Lovely sort of um, double album on Argo with like a, with a book. Not that I'm into... Uh, yoga or anything, but um, yeah. So I suppose we could, um, rather than talk, I could um, actually show some of these. Decker, uh, yeah. This isn't very easy to do actually. Oh, this one has obviously been from a charity shop already, so there was some more modern classical music in there and medieval, so it makes me think. 
Yeah, it makes me think. I hear someone with the scary dolls on it there. <laughs> yeah, uh, it makes me think. Was it all a person's collection? Because they have these numbers in the corner. Um, Irato there. Or was it just like she sort of collected them up and then wanted to shift them on? Maybe it was that. I, I don't know really. I mean, you know. When I used to work in a record shop, actually, it was amazing. Uh, yeah, the girl I used to work with used to say scuba. Yeah, but um, yeah, they're not that easy to pronounce some of these names, are they? Especially if you want to pronounce them um, properly. <laughs> and I'm sure that I didn't pronounce them right either, anyway. But um, what's this? Mozart on Vox. Nothing that amazing so far. This is going to be a very long uh, video, isn't it? Torch's favourite Christmas carols. Choir boys! Baroque organ music. Organ of the Servite Priory, London. I mean, 60s, 70s, early 80s, so much has changed since then. And it's particularly uh, noticeable, I think, Especially with classical music, I mean, and, and the sort of stuff that was put out, I mean, you know, so much stuff is like dumbed down now, isn't it? And um, we're living in such a fast, modern paced world that people used to buy these albums and listen to them. I mean, it's very noticeable in the 78s, there was actually, I think, the whole of St. Matthew's Passion, or quite a lot of it, on record, but it was over so many discs. Here's the Songs of Love by The Scholars. There's a few King singers in here. Organ music by Bach and his... I can't read what that says, sorry. Bach. Enjoyment of opera. Stravinsky. Hmm. So I know that Alan would be an expert on this sort of stuff and that's an interesting cover there. He would probably know which of these certain pressings are worth um, something or, or, or also like what is actually interesting because I I don't know really I think there was more of one of these in there Elizabeth Schwarzkopf, I've heard of her I'm stuck a sticker on that one <laughs> The Art of the Organ, Volume 1, Highlights International Organ Festival in St Albans, 1969 there I wonder if they still have organ fests and all Tchaikovsky, Beethoven, Bizet. Now there was some more interesting stuff here, but I'm not going through it. Right, there were some records that are um um that MK distributed in Great Britain by Transatlantic and they seem to be uh Russian, Russian composers or certain Easter ex Eastern Bloc um composers. There was even a few um, Melodia um, EMI collaborations I think. I'm, I can't quite remember now but um, I must wonder whether these if I paint a picture could they have belonged to a spy or something? I could find something really interesting in the uh, sleeves. Probably most of you have gone by now. Um, I'm not really showing them properly am I? Let's take out Okay, let's take out some here anyway. And uh, what have we got here? We've got Vaughan Williams. Um, not sure what that is. Some Tchaikovsky. Yeah, I think uh, I think Decade Eclipse isn't a particularly uh, exciting uh, stuff, really. Chopin. I'm not that into Chopin. Fiorin. Tino plays Chopin, Brook. Oh, I'm not picking out the most interesting ones here at all, am I? Um, let me see if I can see from the see from the spines. What have we got here? What's this? Well, I know that Poulenc is quite a good album. This one here. This. Uh, Gloria and Organ Concerto. 
whether it's a good recording or not, I don't really know. And I don't know this. Oh, this is sort of, um, oh, the sleeve's broken. This is from this southern part of France, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, the, yeah, but for £20, you know, it's, it's fun and far more, um, what should I say? Far more educational than um, watching a sh someone show um, George Harrison box or something. Well, I would like to think it is anyway. Italian, the Reformation. That's a naughty cover there. Paul Jacques. Giselle Mantovani. There's a few Mantovanis, but not really showing. That's a nice cover. I don't know what that means. Bach played on 20th century tracker organs. And here's a Russian songs. Yeah. So I've momentarily forgotten what I was um, talking about. It's Nielsen. Alexander Nevsky. Oh, another Poulenc. I uh, don't know that one. Columbia. Oh, well, they did look more exciting yesterday, anyway. Let, let's let's say that anyway. And um, yeah, some ten inches in here again for highlights. Don Giovanni. Yeah, huh. I suppose at least that does show that this video is actually, um, you know. As I came to them, I haven't picked out all the best, the best sort of bits. Benjamin Britten, The Rape of Lucretia. Hmm, that's on music for pleasure. Some Wagner, there's quite a lot of Wagner in here as well. Nice cover. Oh, that's record three. Right, okay, so we're... Yeah, I don't think the other ones were in there. Marla. Puccini, Spanish Fiesta, Songs of John Ireland, uh, oh. Songs of Travel, Vaughan Williams, uh, Benjamin Britten, Noah's Flood, I think I've seen that before. This one is Janacek. Never heard of him. Fibic. Some HMV 20 series. William Walton, London Symphony. Um, oh, Ly Lyrita. Hmm. A comedy overture. Okay, so now we're getting into the realms of 15 minutes, so I guess I should um, sort of stop really some Mantovani there. Yeah. Oh, well. I hope everyone's okay anyway, and um, not too not too bored with um, with this. Is that Wagner? I oh, know Handel. The water music Handel. Yeah. I'll have some fun going through these anyway, and um, just show myself. Here I am. So, thanks for watching, uh, and um, yeah, catch you soon. Bye.